After dropping a few hundred dollars on the world's most expensive face toaster, some of you may think that $999 is a little expensive to spend on a game for it. So I'm here today to give you some recent developments on free games for the standalone Quest 2. To be honest, I wasn't really sure how many people wanted to know about these free games until I made a 60 second clip that blew up to almost 400k about three free Quest 2 games that I recommended, and one of them blew up so much that it broke the developer's servers. There were so many fans that logged onto the servers the day that I put out that video that it broke the developer's servers in multiple ways and he was texting me over the weekend saying what did you do so if enough people can log on to a server to break it i decided to give my audience exactly what they wanted more free games and i did all the research so that way you don't have to so let's go ahead and jump into our first title which is personally my favorite oh. all right it's it's a lot of research some people say not to show your best hand first, but I just couldn't help myself in this case. This was a paid FPS title for years. The developers made an amazing game, but had no idea how to market it to the people in VR. The game went on for years with people downloading it and loving it, but the only gripe that people had in the reviews was that there was nobody to play it with. But now the game has officially moved to a free-to-play model to boost the player basis in their servers. And, I mean, it worked. The developer said that they had their largest spike in players ever since it its launch. So if you want a free game with the content of a paid title, then look no further. It has full multiplayer of up to six person lobbies, multiple weapons, some of them having multiple attachments, loadout customizations, five game modes, 12 maps, vertical combat, and grappling hooks. And honestly, it even has more cosmetics in the game than my two brain cells can handle right now. Honestly, this has been one of my personal top 10 favorite VR games for years, and now the fact that it's officially free just blows my mind. And with this game being so great, let's move on to something that sucks this is an interesting title where your goal is to suck up things through a backpack and jetpack around the map filled with items. Initially starting out where you're small and so is your vacuum. You have to suck up items and deposit them to increase your level, which increases your size and you can suck up bigger items. Who knew that all the years of people telling me that I suck would make me the perfect candidate for this game? And there's also PvP in there as well. Rather than having to use your resources to level up, you can use them to shoot a charge blast at your opponents and kill them to hinder their progress. Which kind of confuses me because at that point, if I'm stopping them from sucking, am I helping? helping them, and I thought there would be some kind of rule against vacuuming up live animals, but nope, nothing in the rule books. But hopefully this next game will require some more strategy. Welcome to Glass Breakers. From the creators of the VR game Moss, this is a free app lab strategy game that gives you demio vibes but in PvP combat. Each player has three different heroes on their side of the field that have different respawn rates, strengths, and moves. Battle enemies, capture objectives on the field, and weaken the enemy's defenses to break their glass ball and win the game. They've already started adding in a few characters for progression and cosmetics as well. Based on the look of it, it seems like they might continue this as a free game and make money off of microtransactions from their in-game currency. Overall, if you want to try a tabletop strategy game in VR, with nice art and character animations, I would recommend giving this one a look. But if you want to focus your strategy on punching someone in the face instead, let's head it back into first person for this next one. Dragon Fist is a full paid title on the Steam Store, but it has released for an early access free version on Quest for multiplayer testing, and some have compared it to the Mortal Kombat of VR. It has a lot of characters to choose from that have their own abilities and unique strengths. I think that the most unique part of the combat is depending on where you strike them, it will actually do different things on their character. So, striking them in the legs will limit their mobility, striking them in the ribs will harm their stamina, and hitting them in the eyes will actually cause temporary blindness. The only major drawback of this game is that apparently it's locked by a password that changes every week, and in order to gain the password, you actually need to join the Discord. But if you want to avoid having to do that while still being able to punch people, this next title might be right up your alley. This is Cardio Combat. It's a pretty low-res game and doesn't have a lot of mechanics, but I think that can appeal to a certain audience that doesn't want all those different types of mechanics that Dragon Fist offers, and just wants to punch people in the face, or for anybody that doesn't want to be forced to join a Discord. I do think that it's funny that it calls you getting to punch people in the face a workout rather than combat, which makes me wonder if I should punch someone in the face and think of them as a gym partner rather than my combatant. And while some people think it's a little messed up that I punch men, women, and children in the streets, I just let them know that these hands are rated E for everyone. Welcome to Gravity Royale, the game that many are calling the Apex Legends of VR. Featuring things like skydiving onto the field, 
grapple hooks, jetpacks, plenty of guns, and items to upgrade your armor, storage, and weapons. I think the developers are heading in a really good direction for this at the moment, but it does feel a bit janky. The movement mechanics and transitions between certain actions do not feel as smooth as they should on a full game. But they do have a huge variety of items, and I hope that a good core concept will help lead this game in the right direction whenever it's fully fleshed out on release. But for now, let's move on to our next title. Next move is a parkour progression type game that is similar to Stride. Parkour, avoid evolving obstacles, and reach the end. It gives you a gun to battle some components, and you can actually get these hourglass type items in a game to charge an ability to reverse time in case you make a mistake, but use it sparingly. And hopefully it won't kill anybody in alternate time zones like that one Rick and Morty episode. This game has a really unique art style, and I grew to love it. The parkour, the combat, and the unique art style, but I will warn you that the game during its first level does really bait you through it. Like I finally thought I was good at something for once in my life until partway through the second level a bullet came out of left field and threw me into space faster than the newest space. SpaceX rocket. And keeping up with the theme of moving, possibly causing your demise, this is Lurking Shadows. The game where you have to deliver pizza at night in what I imagine is probably downtown Detroit. You have a map in a pitch black neighborhood with no way to know where you are other than checking the map and a compass. Different enemies will need to be handled differently. Some need to be tased, some are deterred by sound, and some can't even stand their own reflection. What? What are you? Huh? Your goal is to deliver all the pizza before the power in your tools runs out. It's a challenging horror game that can give you a good scare if you're looking for one. But in case you die there, you might have fun exploring the world as a ghost in Dead Man's Quest. This is a story-driven puzzle solver where you're on a quest to figure out how you died. Those of you who know me know that I normally don't like these types of games, but this one really threw me off guard. The art style is great, the story and culture around it is awesome, and the full dialogue with all the characters was not only captivating, but also really funny. Possess humans and move through different areas of the map to progress through the story and use the two brain cells that you have after listening to me talk for this long to figure out how to solve the puzzles. And now for something that has slightly more emotion, we have Never Down. This game was inspired by the game Only Up and wanted to give you a Dark Souls level punishing feel to anybody who spent an hour of playing it just to fall and lose everything. The movement feels like if you took Gorilla Tag and combined it with literally every Mario Ice level. It can be a nice download for those who want that Only Up experience in VR, but it does have weird in-game ads for brushing teeth, which we all know is a myth. But regardless, those are 10 free Quest 2 games that you can download right now. There are some other ones out there that I downloaded and I tried and I tried, but they really just could not make the cut. And do keep in mind that I'm having this list as more of the current free Quest 2 games as of when this video releases, so hopefully I can make a sequel and have more videos coming for more free Quest 2 games soon. When more free Quest 2 games come out that are available, let me know down in the comments if I should keep everybody up to date on a sequel. And hopefully I'll have a free tool that will help all of you find some of the best games to play in VR very soon. Thank you all for watching. Much love. Wise out.